I'm Dave, I live in Seaford, got a young family, two year old daughter, and I was a smoker for about 20 years, and I quit about two years ago. We were at the doctors talking about having a baby and wanting to try to have a baby and stuff, and um, the doctor sort of said to me, you should cut down smoking if that's the case. And then when we got home, Vic, my partner, um, <laughs> had a discussion about it with me <laughs> and yeah it sort of hit home so it was the first time I sort of didn't argue the point and was like well that's probably fair enough and I went straight down and to the doctors and got some medication. It's been great because I've, I've, I really didn't want to be around my daughter smoking and pass that on to her. I found it hard, I tried everything else, I tried patches and I tried sprays before and I tried medication and it worked the treat. You slowly get out of the habit of having a cigarette with everything you do in your life. Um, and then when you get off the medication, you're used to not having a cigarette, doing everything. So it's sort of done, it's easy. The first time I got off the medication, I don't know, it's under how long it was, a few months. And um, I caught up with a mate I hadn't seen for years and that's all we used to do years ago, is drink and have a ciggy and whatever. So um, that sort of broke me because I wasn't on the medication. That was my first real test. But yeah, I got back on the medication. Within a month or so, I wasn't, like, I didn't have a wheezy breathing. Um, that cleared right up. <laughs> I didn't stink. <laughs> My missus reminded me of that. Cigarettes relate to everything in your, in your life. So you do a, I used to do a job at work, do, do a task and then have a ciggy. Do a task, have a ciggy. So the whole day you've got a ciggy hanging out of your mouth. Um, so that was gone, so I used to get heaps more done. <laughs> I must have been really annoying at work. Everything you do is a trigger when you're a smoker. For me it was anyway, I had a million triggers. Coffee, food, driving, doing tasks. Um, but yeah, drinking's a big one as well. It's a trap, it's a massive trap, but you can't give up all these things and like think that that's gonna stop you smoking. You just need to quit smoking, you know what I mean? And keep living.